Dear Taurus, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. Checking out the coming weeks for you. It is a timeless general reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And also checking out what's happening with your partner or the person that's on your mind. Someone that could be surrounding you. Doesn't always have to be romantic, folks. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. Mm, okay. So in your energy, we have haystack karma. You will reap what you have sown. A ladder climbing towards success looks like you are venturing forward okay we have ant work achievement success dear Taurus as well as cracked cup it says dissatisfaction with life and scales keep your life in balance so it's clear to me that you are on your way up and working hard diligently pursuing visions dreams stacking coin okay reaping what you sow in terms of the efforts you put out basically Input is only good as output. So you you know that you're working hard to manifest everything you need in your life, everything around you, your security and your comforts. In personal relationships, you may not be this satisfied because there's a cracked cup here. Think of the cups of the tarot. That's the emotional house. That is your water, um, you know, what you pour out into someone else. That's all your love. So you're dissatisfied right now. Water seeps through your cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life and it says, scales you have to keep your life in balance how can you balance yourselves if you are just work 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 focus focus school 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 career career if you are just um not making time for romance right and then the person that might be on your mind this could be past present or future for you okay but we have a ram here a stubborn and aggressive person you might be dealing with they have reef it says sorrow over a loss and wedge someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want there's a person in your life who feels as though your work might be getting in in between the two of you okay more balance more balance needs to be brought to your life again with the scales and the cracked cup it seems like this ladder this opportunity that you've um you know started to climb uh, up towards is actually forming a literal wedge between you and someone else that's how they feel anyway okay so what is the romance angels advice here holy spirit what can you confirm or deny for dear taurus and their person <clears throat> as you pursue your happiness you may be leaving someone in the dust for some of you it's something you didn't even re realize okay the spirit says retreat it's time to disconnect from the world in order to bring back more balance into your lives, into your love lives. A retreat should be planned. I, I do understand about the whole pandemic situation. Many of us are stuck in our towns and we cannot fly for many and we cannot go anywhere, but maybe you can form out some quality time and do something um, close to home, okay? But that would be important uh, because somebody is definitely feeling left out. <clears throat> likely could be somebody you are also married to okay in a marriage a, a marriage could have dissolved because of this reason because somebody feels like uh you were too busy to preoccupy dear taurus okay so this is definitely again a general reading it does say you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love so it do, does look like you're gonna be esteeming love esteeming romantic partnerships esteeming quality time in in unions very soon let's get more thank you holy spirit what would be the present energy surrounding dear taurus and their beloved all right my boy just walked in thank you holy spirit four of cups somebody is definitely waiting to get your attention again waiting for an opportunity feels like one was missed waiting to get close to you feel close to you again dear taurus this person has a new idea about how they want this relationship to go with this ace of wands here they still very much hope for the best in this marriage or in this partnership <clears throat> What's unbeknownst to you, Ten of Pentacles, this is your long-term love. You guys can succeed together. This is a tight ship. 
It just needs to be, uh, you know, it needs some like tune up. <laughs> In the recent past for dear Taurus transition. Okay. You could have had a work opportunity, something major happen in your life that took you away from these people temperance at the top of this they're still waiting uh for your time and attention affection as i mentioned before okay temperance there's an angel guiding you guys and this relationship covering it anointing it blessing the union you guys are going to survive the separation in terms of how far you guys are from each other this long distance relationship for some in the near future Three of Swords. Three of Swords. What could you be thinking about that's heartbreaking? What could happen that might be heartbreaking for Dear Taurus? Clarifying the Three of Swords. We have Queen of Swords. An argument, a disagreement could have happened already. Ace of Swords. Somebody wants the truth of the matter. Somebody definitely wants to see change in this relationship. Strength. This person's been holding out and waiting for you to um, give them time, give them of your of, of yourself, okay? And in the near future, it's all going to come to a head is pretty much what I see. Two of Wands, you're going to be able to strategically plan forward, okay? But you are going to find out how disappointed somebody is, how upset they are that you've pulled away. Again, it's for an opportunity, I feel. You guys are climbing up the own ladders of your success, okay? But this person just feels like there's a wedge between you and them. Also, you guys are succeeding in other relationships, okay? I feel like their Taurus has maybe a close friend. There's a close friend that could be trespassing on the union between you and yours, okay? That's how they view it anyway. They're tired of this person constantly coming around, okay? I get that there's, you know, somebody who's always with you, dear Taurus, likely, always around, your person is selfish about you, wants to have you to themselves. How you view yourself, Princess of Pentacles, you're focused. Whoever is going to be around you has to be focused. You entertain others who are on the same page, on the same vibration and frequency as you. If they are good friends who are um, into things that you're into, you want them around, okay? They're part of your security and comforts, your whole network. You don't discriminate as long as the energy is great. <laughs> That's what's going on with Dear Taurus. But again, there's somebody who's vying for your attention and, and is going to st stand up for themselves pertaining you. So heads up, you guys. Somebody definitely feels like they're being cut out of your heart in some way, shape, or form. How they view you here too, Wands. Yes. They see you st strategically planning your future, okay? That comes in the near future as well. So double two of wands energy. That's showing me a four. The foundation and commitment that you guys share will be whole and solid so long as you can both look into the future, look towards things together, okay? Basically, you have to make each other um, your best friend. Dear Taurus, if you're with somebody now, you have to include them in on your life and what's going on. Make them a friend. And they're not just your lover, your wife, your husband. They must be your friend. If you're single and you're in this reading, that's the advice for you, future forward, for when your lover comes to you, when your soulmate joins you, make them your friend because then you have issues like this, readings where someone feels cut out of your life, even though they're right by your side. Oh, the Taurus, your hope or your fear? Queen of Pentacles. Uh -huh. I kid you not, dear Taurus is super focused. Remember, you viewed yourself as the princess. Your hope is to be the queen one day. Lots of you are part of the family business or taking after your fathers or your mothers, okay? Your mothers are of great influence, especially your maternal side, okay? Mothers, grandmothers, aunts. These are the people around Dear Taurus who um, continue to inspire Dear Taurus. So Dear Taurus is focused. Dear Taurus is a woman or a man on a mission. Sometimes you don't realize that you're not being in you know inclusive that you're not including your your loved ones because you're so focused on your dream and you you know you have big shoes to fill all right so here you are final outcome two of pentacles here you are learning how to balance all your lives 
your business life with your romantic life, learning how to balance. Remember, that was what you guys got the skills. What did it say for dear Taurus in the beginning of this reading? Keep your life in balance. How do you end up two of pentacles? This is a balancing act. You see him pedals on water. You have to learn how to take care of home and your business dealings outside of the home simultaneously so that people don't miss you, so no one gets hurt. Okay, my love, look, Five of Pentacles staring at me, so nobody feels left out. Somebody loves you and longs for you. A retreat can help. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lover's Oracle, on behalf of Dear Taurus. Passion, you guys, get together. It says, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Dear Taurus, be blessed. Peace. Peace.